why did you have to end in the first place? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 TV shows that should be revived. I've got orders direct from Governor Todd to make sure you arrive safely at Lackland Air Force Base. For this list, we're not just looking at shows that were cancelled too early, we're also considering any show we'd like to see back on the air, and exploring new territory. Access denied. <laughs> Wanna bet? With that said, we're excluding shows that are in the process of being revived. So if you don't see your favorite show here, you might be in for a pleasant surprise. But now I find myself in need of something new. Which, for lack of a better word, we shall call magic. Number 10, Terra Nova. So much promise and so much potential for a revival. Quick synopsis, in the 22nd century, the Earth is nearly dead. So a team of scientists fractures the space-time continuum to travel back in time 85 million years and live in the prehistoric age with, wait for it, dinosaurs. Awesome, right? Slated for a fall 2011 release, critics had early access to the pilot and shared the same excitement. Each one of you has taken a first step, just as I did seven years ago toward a new beginning. Despite its great idea, the show's ratings failed to justify its big budget, and so it was unfortunately cancelled after a short 13-episode season. We'd love to see this show done right, and with more affordable CGI available, a studio might just want to invest in some big old dinos. All right, come on, you miserable sons of bitches. Come on! Come on, follow me! Number 9, Pushing Daisies. Another show with a wonderfully creative plot, Pushing Daisies follows Ned as he investigates murder mysteries after gaining the power to wake the dead with the touch of a finger. Mr. Card proposed a partnership. Murders are much easier to solve when you can ask the victim who killed them. It wasn't your typical murder mystery show, as it leaned closer to comedy than drama, emphasizing quirky characters and a colorful visual palette. Over two seasons, Daisy's earned 17 Emmy nominations, including seven wins, and was critically acclaimed. However, the television writer's strike plagued Daisy's during its first season, and it could only produce nine episodes. Olive. <laughs> Olive. <laughs> Olive, it's okay. Sadly, it wasn't enough to gain a fan base, and the show was canceled after just two seasons. With so much left to explore, Ned needs to use his touch to wake up this show. Doing this work without you, well, it actually ends up meaning I'm doing a whole lot of work. Number 8, Rubicon. Isn't there a bit of a conspiracy theorist in us all? There's a small part of us that wants to believe there's something sinister beyond what we see. So if he didn't park in the spot... And then he didn't get on the train. But his remains were identified. This show manifests those hunches, as it follows a policy analyst working in New York City who begins to unravel a conspiracy theory about a secret society that controls world events. Who do you work for? They don't want to tell me, and I don't want to know. Rubicon started with a bang, setting a record for AMC as their most watched original series debut back in 2010. Sadly, the show ran into trouble when creator Jason Horwich left due to creative differences with the network. Without him, the show struggled and was cancelled after 13 episodes, leaving so much still to be desired. What are you going to do? I'm going to do my job and present the facts to my superior. Number 7, The Black Donnellys. Riding the popularity of Martin Scorsese's 2006 film The Departed, The Black Donnellys had a great premise. A gritty family of four Irish brothers engage both in petty and organized crime in Hell's Kitchen, New York City. How could you lose $2,000 on High Life? You don't even know what High Life is, do you? It was steeped in tradition, channeling Irish sentiment, Italian rivalry, and an authentic New York. I'm thinking that's a piece of information the Sal's boss, Allah, would like to hear. That's why that 2500 makes us even. Despite struggling to gain fans when airing, leading to cancellation, The Black Donnellys later became one of NBC's most popular online streamed shows. 
It's also been picked up for syndication in several European countries. You just want to pay, Jimmy. Okay, leave it alone. I'll get you the money. Considering the cast included the lovely Olivia Wilde, a revamped version of this show, placing Wilde's character at the forefront, could earn stronger viewership and provide the compelling television we crave. So how long have you been sitting out there? Not long. All night? Pretty much. Number 6. Stargate Universe Sometimes you need a show to come back because you never want it to end. Other times a show needs to return just so it can end. By that, we mean finish up right. We should be working on getting home. Exactly. I'm not sure if that's even possible. What? You haven't even tried! The expansive Stargate universe isn't necessarily one that needs to be explored much further. In fact, the entire franchise provides plenty to keep us entertained. We do, however, need Stargate Universe to come back because it needs a proper ending. Cancelled after its second season without much notice, the show ended on a sizable cliffhanger. You're a good man, Eli. You get this done. I want to see you on the other side. A movie was planned to finish the job, but that too was scrapped. So let's be clear. This show doesn't need to come back to stay. We just need some closure. You come a long way from that video game slacker I discovered a year ago. Thanks. You've been pretty consistent. Number 5. Party Down A group of caterers trying to make it in Hollywood. Sounds funny, right? Now throw in a creator in Paul Rudd, a main cast of Adam Scott, Lizzie Kaplan, Martin Starr, Jane Lynch, and Megan Mullally, as well as a recurring cast that includes J.K. Simmons, Ken Jeong, and Kristen Bell, and you have an all-star lineup guaranteeing hilarity. And yes, the comedy more than holds up. It was gold. Seen a guy with a clown? Oh, crazy shit! This is this is a business thing. Still, Party Down struggled with ratings. Additionally, it lost Scott to Parks and Rec and Lynch to Glee. Hello, boys. Who needs a pick me up? Solidifying its cancellation after two seasons. With those shows now off the air, we'd love to see this cast reunite for more seasons of this comedy gem. Isn't it something how guys always rebound to your opposite? My ex, his new girlfriend, is a professional athlete. Number 4. Angel Despite being five seasons in and being a spin-off of the long-running Buffy the Vampire Slayer, fans were outraged when this show got the boot. And justifiably so. The show earned solid ratings, and its fans were crazy passionate. I gave up a lot of blood for this gig. We're talking beyond fan websites. Angel inspired an industry of books, comics, and merchandise. A little something I picked up in Nepal. You like it? I sell that crap at the airport. You have to wonder why it was cancelled. Well, it turns out it was all bureaucratic. It's reported that showrunner Joss Whedon and WB's then head of entertainment Jordan Levin had working problems, the result of which, in short, was Angel's cancellation. And on a cliffhanger, no less. We need Angel back. It should never have left in the first place. Well, personally, I kind of want to slay the dragon. Let's go to work. Number three. Hannibal. We've been obsessed with Hannibal Lecter since Anthony Hopkins took on the role in 1991. A census taker once tried to test me. I ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. Arguably the most intriguing portrayal of Lecter since then, Hannibal depicts a younger version of the character, played by Mats Mikkelsen. I'm beginning to suspect you're investigating me, Agent Crawford. Like The Silence of the Lambs, the show follows an FBI criminal profiler who recruits Mikkelsen's Lecter to assist on investigations. What are we looking for? At this stage, anything really, but mostly anything peculiar. Of course, Lecter becomes the focus of the show, as his own sinister desires cannot be controlled. The show garnered critical acclaim, particularly for strong cast performances, specifically from a stunning Lawrence Fishburne. Well, feeling bad defeats the purpose of being a psychopath, doesn't it? Yes, it does! Then what kind of crazy is he? Still, like so many on this list, it struggled to gain viewership and was cancelled after three seasons. With so much left to explore, 
we need our favorite cannibal back. See, this is all I ever wanted for you. Number two, Firefly. Take my love, take my land, take me where I cannot stand. This show only had one incomplete season, but somehow it secured a cult following. How? Well, flat out, it was just that good. Everybody hold on to something. There's something you can't do. Set in the year 2517, Firefly follows nine crew members fleeing civil war aboard a wandering spaceship, living on the fringe of society. We don't get paid for this cargo. We don't have enough money to fuel the ship. The show was unique as it blended genres, incorporating Western and space opera themes. Due to low ratings, Firefly was canceled. But it seems that its network, Fox, underestimated its fan base. Viewers flocked to buy the season one DVD set, setting strong sales numbers. They also, to this day, continue to petition to bring Firefly back. Clearly, one season wasn't enough, and its film Serenity only left fans wanting more. So no more running. I aim to misbehave. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. No, Make yourselves at home. You guys want a job? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Great. Get down off your horse or face the consequences. The same thing happens when living things make copies of themselves, like when they have children. Number one, friends. Very well aware that this critically acclaimed, Emmy-winning show ran for 10 seasons. But let's face it, that just wasn't enough. I can't have sex with you. And why not? Because I'm in love with Monica. There is so much left to explore in the Friends world, thanks in part to the strong writing of its characters. Oh my god! <laughs> that is so not the opposite of taking somebody's underwear! The enduring qualities that made us fall in love with Ross, Rachel, Monica, Chandler, Joey, and Phoebe will not dissipate with age. So while we'd love to see them back in their prime, hanging out at Central Perk, we would also be intrigued by the older versions of our beloved friends. The attachment we feel to those characters has us begging to see just where they are now. Okay, should we get some coffee? Sure. Where? <laughs> Do you agree with our list? What show do you think should be revived? One of life's great unanswerable questions. For more intriguing top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. What? Game on. Game on. Game on? Game on, now get out.